Pastorelli. And I'm Pastor Kurt. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And we have another question for you this week. Where does our hope lie? And we ask that because many times when we are looking to God for something, waiting for something, we, we get our hopes up. Mm -hmm. you know, we're hopeful that what it is that we need will happen. Yes. We're hopeful for the breakthrough. We're mm -hmm. hopeful for that event to take place or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if we're not careful, we become so hopeful about that thing mm -hmm. that we end up putting our hope in that instead of right. our hope in God. Yes. And the, the danger in that is that if that thing doesn't happen mm -hmm. and it falls through for whatever reason, we lose hope. That's right. We lose hope and we begin to doubt. Yes, we get disappointed mm -hmm. because our eyes were on fully on that, that. thing. And it, we, it, it's, it's like we, we took our eyes off of God for a short time mm -hmm. and put our eyes on the thing yeah. that we are hoping for. Right, exactly. So we put God in the background mm -hmm. and that thing whatever it might be, is yeah. in front of us. Became our focus. And that's all we see. Mm -hmm. And then God is waiting patiently yeah. for us to get our eyes back on Him mm -hmm. so that we can keep our hope right. in Him. Mm -hmm. Because if for some reason that thing fell through and it didn't work, if we still had our hope in Him, we wouldn't be disappointed. Yeah, or as disappointed. Or at, yeah. yeah, sometimes we get disappointed either way right it just it's, it's we're hum human yeah it's part of human nature <laughs> it, it's our yeah. emotions and right. you know we look forward to certain things mm -hmm. and it's normal yeah but as long as our hope remains in god yeah. when those things happen it's very it'll be very easy for us to pick ourselves up again right. and keep going and keep going yeah. and believe god for whatever it is right that he wanted us to right it, it won't be it won't be like earth shattering right if something doesn't happen that's it, right it won't it won't like crush us right it, it will still be disappointing sometimes mm. but it will be a different type of disappointment where right. like for example you know instead of losing our hope and and just becoming depressed and feeling like what's gonna happen now right. instead of that you know you kind of just learn to roll with it yes and you don't stress over it you don't mm. worry about right. it you just, you keep looking to God mm -hmm. and you put that thing behind you and you right. keep going. You say, okay, mm -hmm. God, so I guess that wasn't meant to happen or whatever. You right. Know? And so what do you want us to do now? Right. You know, what do you have for us next? Mm -hmm. And when we learn how to keep our hope in God mm -hmm. and these things become secondary, mm -hmm then we never skip a beat we just keep going that's right you know we learn after a while that okay that didn't happen all right whatever it's fine with me god you know i kind of like it if it had happened but yeah. <laughs> but you know if it's if it didn't then my hope and my trust is still in you mm -hmm. and not in that thing that didn't happen right so i'm just going to keep going what do you want us to do now right you know what do you want me to do now what direction do you have for me and and tell me tell me what's next right so it's important that that we focus on God God always has to come first in yes, everything that's right it doesn't matter whether it's whether it's a relationship um, a job finances health it doesn't matter whatever we're doing in life God always has to be first that's right and if we learn to keep him first in everything mm -hmm. We will be way, way less disappointed mm -hmm. when something ha or something doesn't happen. And it's very hard sometimes, you know, it's very hard because, you know, we may think we know that whatever he, we're focusing on is of him, mm -hmm. you know, because sometimes right. it's just hard to figure out. Sometimes right. we just don't know and yeah. we think we know. Mm -hmm. So we kind of focus on that thing and we want to make sure we do everything we're supposed to do right. to make it happen. Mm -hmm. But even in that, we can lose our hope in God Yeah. because we're trying so hard to do our part right. that he gets pushed to the back, Yeah. you know, behind. In the background. Yeah. And, you know, we have to make sure in, in, you know, we're human. Some of the things that we may think are the things that we're supposed to be, you know, addressing or, or going after. We're human. Some of the things, it's going to be something that we usually like or enjoy. Right. We, yeah. we, as human beings, we're not likely to run after something that we don't really enjoy doing. No. Unless God's telling us right. to do it. 
So a lot of times the things that God is telling us to do, sometimes it's something that we're not too sure if we want right. to do it. Right. So there's a part of us already there that is like kind of, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. So if we get to that place where we have our hope in God, mm -hmm. the things that he shows us, the things that he brings up or he says to go after, or I want you to do this, I would like you to do that. Even if we are not too crazy about it, if our hope is in him and mm -hmm. we know that he's going to work everything out right. and we know that he knows you know the desires of our heart mm -hmm. we'll start to relax in that right. we'll start to say okay maybe this isn't exactly what right. i thought i would be doing mm -hmm. or what i wanted to do but right God's but if saying it's what, yeah that yeah. he wants me to you right. know press in and check this out and mm -hmm. move towards this door yeah. we'll do it we'll do it and, amen? We, and we'll be less way less likely to gripe about it right and we'll be less likely to doubt god that's right and we'll be more likely to to just hear him and do what he's asking us to that's do that's right and say okay god that was that was okay what do you want me to do next that's right because our hope is in him mm -hmm. and not in the thing mm -hmm. not right. in that exactly you know our answer is coming our answer is in him mm -hmm. he is our answer so whatever right. he puts before us right. we will go after it mm -hmm. and we will more than likely stop to uh stressing out or looking for those right, things that right. we really wanted to have mm -hmm. for ourselves mm -hmm. because that's what happens right you know we'll go after something and say oh this would be nice and we start going after that and god didn't tell us to go after that right and sometimes it's a case of we thought that was god's answer mm -hmm. and so we pursue that because we thought it was what god had for us we thought it was his answer yes when in reality it wasn't and mm -hmm. when it doesn't happen we're shattered right. and our hopes are shattered mm. and we can lose faith. And this is, this is why we're sharing this to make sure that we don't have our hopes in the things that we're pursuing. That's right. Even though we may be in desperate times and that thing looks like it will be the answer. Right. We, you know, it's not always the case. That's Sometimes right. it, because it makes sense to our minds, it looks like the perfect thing. Mm -hmm. And yet it's not. That's right. And then, so if our hope was in that instead of in God, when it doesn't come through, we're, we're devastated. Right. And and trust us, we we've, we've been there. Mm -hmm. We've walked through things mm -hmm. like that, and it can be very, very disappointing. Right. And it's in that moment that we have to choose. We have to pick ourselves up and mm -hmm. say, okay, that didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And we have to, you know, humble our hearts yeah. and go to God. And talk to him. It didn't work out. I'm right. disappointed. I, I'm. I thought that that was the answer. Right. But it's in that moment that if it didn't work out and it didn't happen the way we thought it was going to happen, that we trust him enough mm. to say, That's "Okay, right I'm okay with it. I'm mm -hmm. okay with this. Yep. I just need to know what step to take next." Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. And we don't even have to know why it didn't work out. That's and right. That's a question that we ask a lot of times. God, why didn't? Why didn't that work? Mm. Well, that's not necessarily for us to know. That's right. Our, what we need to know is what next, God? What yes. do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. How did I miss? How did I miss you enough to think that was it? Because when we get our thinking mixed up, we may think a lot of things are it. Yes. But we need to focus on God, mm -hmm. solely on God. Mm -hmm. And when God is our focus, mm -hmm. everything else falls into place a little bit at a time. Yeah. It's not always easy. Mm -hmm. We're not going to sit here and say it's always, you know, it just just happens because mm -hmm. it's not. It's not always easy. Right. But as we press into God and we grow in our walk with Him, it becomes easier and easier and easier. That's right. And over time, we will learn not to look too far ahead, not to look left or right, but just look straight ahead to Him and put Him first in everything. That's right. Amen. Amen. So hopefully this will help. Uh, maybe get some perspective on things and hopefully it will help some people to not lose their hope when something mm. doesn't happen you know the disappointment can sometimes be pretty big mm. um, but keep your faith your trust and your hope in God only That's right. and you really can't go wrong if we do that That's so, right. Amen. All right. so you guys have a great rest of your day uh, feel free to share the video mm. we, we appreciate when the videos get shared and we love you guys. We love you. And until the next video, you take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.